the college football viewing guide for week number six here. And, of course, every single week I tell you exactly what I'm going to be watching. What is the most important uh, game for each time slot? Well, let's go on and and talk about it. Let's go on and tell you. Uh, There's not a whole lot that's going on as far as the midweek is concerned. There is a Wednesday night game. So, of course, SMU at UCF on ESPN2 at uh, 6 p.m. Central Time, of course, God's time zone. I will be watching SMU and UCF. I want to see what goes on with SMU missing a few of those guys that have decided to sit out, et cetera. Um, But really, I just want to see what UCF is like. What is the fan base like? What is going on after that hurricane? Right? There's so many interesting uh, aspects to this game. So there is that. Uh, On Friday, you've got Houston at Memphis. Yes, I am interested in that one because Memphis has started out the season 4-1. and They haven't looked great, but they are 4-1. and Houston, on the other hand, hasn't looked great, and they are two and three. So, what is Houston? Like, this was supposed to be a year where they competed for not only the AAC title, but a possible playoff berth. And they their roster looks discombobulated. It looks ridiculous. There's just not a lot of good stuff going on there. Uh, then also on Friday night, late night, UNLV at San Jose State. I want to see if UNLV can run on San Jose State. My guess is they can't. But but UNLV has been a lot of fun this year. Uh, Brumfeld, the quarterback, I mean, this team's really good. I think they could make a bowl game this year. Uh, San Jose State, they got some studs on that defensive line. They got some dudes that could possibly make some NFL rosters. Uh, so pay attention to that. What Brent Brennan is doing at San Jose State may get him a bigger job. Obviously, we talked about him with the Colorado job earlier. Um, moving over to Saturday. And this is where we'll we'll dive into it. Saturday... Starting at noon, this is what I will have on the TV. On the main screen, I'm going to have Tennessee at LSU on ESPN. Uh, that one, I think, is going to be a lot of fun. I mean, it's a ranked matchup, number 8 against number 25. I, I'm i curious what Tennessee looks like going to Baton Rouge for the first time in 12 years. That, that could be a lot of fun. Uh, along with that, Texas and Oklahoma on ABC is going to be on one of the side screens. Uh, what does Oklahoma look like if they don't have Dylan Gabriel? Like, Texas is a 7-point favorite there. So I, I'm very curious about that. And then, of course, on the other screen, you got to have TCU and Kansas up there. Now, I don't know that this is going to be particularly close, but it could be. And if it is, I want to be watching. I think that that crowd is going to be, you're going to have some amazing shots of the crowd for this ballgame. I think it's going to be absolutely outstanding. Uh, so, yes, TCU and Kansas will be the uh, other screen on that. Now, moving into the 3.30 Eastern Time slate, of course, Utah at UCLA. This one's going to be on Fox. I Look, Utah's not undefeated, but UCLA is. And I want to see what UCLA looks like against that Utah defense. Uh, along with that, UCLA's defense is not exactly bad. Utah, of course, without Keithy, uh, the tight end, I think Dalton Kincaid can do a lot of the stuff that Keithy did. But regardless, I think this could be a lot closer than people think it could be. Uh, I know Utah has covered like five straight against them. I'm just, I'm interested in UCLA this year. Very interested. Auburn and Georgia on CBS at the same time. Uh, I think, I mean, this it should be a mauling, but what is Georgia right now? They should have beaten Missouri a lot worse than they did. They should have beaten Kent State a lot worse than they did. How bored is this team? Does a an old school rivalry match up like this, especially at home? Does that wake them up a bit? I, I want to see what Georgia is. Can Auburn scare them the way that Auburn scared LSU, right? Uh, and then the other game at that same time, Texas Tech and Oklahoma State on FS1. Very interested in that one because while Oklahoma State has, I think they're like 18-2 and two over the last 20 games. I mean, it's just absurd. Uh, any game with Donovan Smith is going to be high variance. Like, this game has the potential to be very, very volatile, especially with Spencer Sanders and Donovan Smith. You could have interceptions all over the place. You, you're you probably going to have a ton of points in this one. I'm I'm interested. I'm interested. Uh, moving into the Saturday night slot, uh, of course, if you watch the show, you know that I'm going to be watching Alabama and Texas A&M. So that one will be on CBS on the main screen. Uh, the other screen, BYU and Notre Dame. Yes, 100%. That looks like it's going to be a dynamite football game. Um, 
And then there's other options, right? So for my other screen, I've got three main screens. Then I've got one that's all the way over on the side. So that's four. And then I've got my iPad, blah, blah, blah. So I'll probably have a bunch of these on. But for my third main screen, do I do Clemson Boston College? Do I do Washington State USC, which could be interesting. That that line got steamed up today. Uh, Kansas State, Iowa State, looks like it could be, you know, a lot of fun. Nope, here's what I'm doing. Uh, Florida State, NC State, it, it, interesting, right? I want to watch Iowa and Illinois. I want to see what Brett Bielema's team looks like after going into Madison and just dumping all over the Badgers, right? Can they do it again this week? Can that defense do it? And then, for my late night, I typically only watch like one late night game while I've got, uh, while I'm getting all my notes together for the Sunday morning show. I'm going to turn on Fresno at Boise. I want to see Green, the new quarterback for Boise. I want to see what that Boise State offense looks like with Dirk Cutter as the uh, offensive coordinator now. Uh, Fresno, like, I don't know what this team is without Jake Hanner. And I don't know if Hanner's going to be back. I don't I don't know what the situation is. But I want to see what Jeff Tedford's team looks like against Dirk Cutter's offense. Right? <laughs> that's, that's my biggest question here. So those are the teams and the games that I am most looking forward to this weekend. Uh, but there's a lot that will be on. I mean, just a ton of them. Uh, Washington at Arizona State. Louisville, Virginia. Purdue at Maryland is going to be fun. Um I mean, just looking at these at these games, Kent State at Miami of Ohio, like Southern Miss, Troy, Western Kentucky, San Antonio, uh, at UTSA, whatever, meet me, uh, Oregon and Arizona, like that one could be a lot of fun. South Carolina, Kentucky could get interesting. I mean, there's just a ton of fun games. North Carolina and Miami, that one could be a whole lot of fun. Regardless, there's a lot that we will watch this weekend, but those are the games that I will have on my main screens. So we'll see what happens with them. We will see. All right, make sure that you sign up for the picks contest. Of course, over at winningcureseverything.com, just hit the contest button in the top corner of your screen. Or you can just follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. I tweet that thing out. You can click the link there. It's much easier to get into. So make sure that you sign up. Of course, we partnered with runyourpool.com on that. So good stuff that they have done thus far this season. It's been a lot of fun. Looking forward to continuing it as we go along. Now, um... The show, of course, brought to you by BetUS. It is where the game begins. It is America's premier online sports book. Check them out, BetUS.com, or do me a favor and just click the link in the description. That's going to be the best way to do it. So go ahead and click that link. Uh, they got a bunch of sign-up bonuses, etc. Make sure that you take advantage of that. And along with the picks contest, uh, you get a $25 Amazon gift card if you win each week. By the way, it's not like an end-of-the-season thing. It is literally that week. If you win the contest that week, you get a $25 Amazon gift card. And and if you have an account with BetUS, I can get you a $50 free play or uh, an even bigger deposit bonus, all sorts of stuff over there. Uh, I believe we can do we, We're looking at, like, football jerseys, stuff like that that we could give away. A lot of different stuff there. So make sure that you sign up for the Picks Contest. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.